Oh, I forgot to tell you. It's video wave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was Paul and Belinda from Corpus Christi, subscribers who came to visit and took Lynn and I out to dinner at Viva Mexico. The mural on the wall behind has a story. The artist who painted a whole wall inside for 50,000 pesos came back to the owner, Augustine, and said, I need some more money, I need another job, and Augustine wasn't in a position to hire him for that much money again, so they came up with the idea of charging the patrons of the restaurant 500 pesos each if they'd like to have their picture painted on the wall. So 500 times 100 patrons is 50,000 pesos. Guess who this is? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I stopped here to pick up some lunch across the street from the Guadalajara Pharmacy. Oh, that's Doña's donut shop right there. And this is a food truck that showed up a few months ago, Cameos. Uh, I've never eaten here. I'm going to give it a try. This is what I wound up ordering. Cameos Aladinos. And I walked around the back of the truck while they were preparing my food to look at the parking lot. Yep, we're in Mexico. <laughs> and straight across the street is this art or graffiti? I say art. I'm going home to eat. So, Let's see what I brought home for lunch, you know. I want you to know what a sacrifice I do for making these videos for you. First of all, I'm out doing errands and I stop and get something to eat because I'm starving to death and then I come home and before I can eat my lunch I have to set up the camera on the tripod for you. So let's do an unboxing of my Cameo Aladinos. It's a uh, beef steak. That's uh, beef and bacon and onion and Mediterranean bread. See if I got my, my uh, 90 pesos worth. 90 pesos is four dollars and seventy cents. So this is full of the meat. Mmm, that's good. And then this is the stuff I got to put in it. Mmm, that's really good. So this is from a place that calls itself a Mediterranean food taco truck. Mmm. Very. Mm. Try it just like that first. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. What's this white stuff? Sour cream. And what's this red stuff? Ooh, hot sauce. So Ooh. Whoa, that gets right in your mouth. That's uh, muy picante. Hot sauce. Mmm. You know, I was thinking 90 pesos was a lot for a taco. This is not just a taco, and it is really good. I will be back to that place, <laughs> maybe every day. Mmm. <laughs> Here's a little tip for you. I like green olives. 
So I buy a jar of olives like this, and I eat all the olives, and then I boil eggs and put them in the olive juice, and it pickles them. And if you like olives, and you like boiled eggs, you should try this. I leave them in there about a week, and I like a little uh, balsamic vinegar on them. Just a touch on the yolk. That's how I roll. I need to thank you subscribers and viewers. Making these videos has inspired me to take a walk through some places I have not been in for years. And this is one of them called El Barco. Just a quick walk through with my iPhone. They have uh, live music, popular songs in English, different groups play at different times. El Barco is a happening place in the evenings, full of people. It's a nightclub, it's a bar, it's a music venue. And it's large. There can be a lot of people here in the evening. Right next door, and part of the same undivided space, is a gourmet shop. So if you're looking for something special in the food department, this is a good place to check. We're driving east on Ocampo from West Ajijic towards the central plaza. So why did I say that I haven't been to, to El Barco for years? Well, when Lynn and I first came down here, we used to go to a lot of places like that, and there are a lot of places like that around town that play live music and have a dance floor. And Oh, dog content. Two of them. Three of them. And this is a one-way street, and here comes a guy going the wrong way. But I'll just go down here a block. No big deal. People don't get uh, very excited about that around here. There is a lot of live music available here in Ahihik. Um, a lot of places that have dance floors and all kinds of music. Jazz, country music, popular music, classical music, it's a great place for music lovers. Why didn't I go to El Barco for many years? I'm not a music lover. Let me clarify. There are lots of ways to listen to music, and I have lots of ways. I have music in my car, I have music on my iPad, music on my iPhone, music on my computer. I even play my own music. Oh, now I'm going the wrong way. Uh, it's two left turn, two-way street again. I even play uh, music of my own on my keyboard, so uh, there are lots of ways to listen to music and lots of ways that I personally enjoy music. In a restaurant is not one of my favorite ways. I love going out to dinner and having a conversation with friends. But as soon as the music starts, ooh, check the traffic. As soon as the music starts, the conversation ends. And that's my objection. You know, anytime the mariachis walk into the restaurant, the conversation just ends because you can't talk over loud music, and especially in these places where, like El Barco, where the music is loud and people are enjoying the evenings uh, offerings at the bar. So that's my personal objection to it. And that's one of the reasons that we don't go out to nightclubs anymore. The other reason is because we're nearly 20 years older than we were back then. <laughs> and Lynn and I never did dance. Um, 
There's a story about uh, one of our friends getting Lynn to dance once after all you could drink margaritas at a particular restaurant in Chapala. <laughs> but that's another story. So we're back down uh, on Ocampo and getting closer to the square. Um, the place on the left here with the columns, that's a beauty parlor slash massage parlor. Uh, this is Juarez we're going past. Some of these are businesses and some of them um, like this big pink thing coming up here on the right. Uh, right there is a really beautiful home inside. I was inside of it years ago. So I'm going down here because Lynn wants me to stop on the way home to get another kilo of her coffee from the coffee shop. Right there where that pelican is, this is Cologne, the main street. So to my left a block is the plaza and to my right a block is the lake. Uh, veterinarian there on the left, law office up here on the right, several of these places here on the left uh, have uh, day or weekly rentals. And we're going to turn the corner here by the Chameleon Bar. You see the big chameleon painted on the side of the building there. The Chameleon Bar was the first place I ever went into a bar in Ahihik, and I had paid a mordita to a cop earlier in the day, which we don't do anymore, by the way. Um, but I got laughed at at the bar that night for way overpaying. I should drive around Ahihik and just take still pictures of the murals and the artwork. You notice we've gone past several, and you don't get a good look at them this way, but I should do that. Um, I'm thinking about this parking place. No, I'm going to go on up the street. Main church on the right, and um, turn in the corner, half a block straight ahead to the plaza, and I'm parking by that grade school that was in one of my videos before. If you remember me talking about the masks on the wall and the bare blue breast painted on the side of the great school. The light outside is incredible because there's a haze and it's a sunset. Can you hear the waves? Can you hear the rainbirds? Cicadas? That's that whistling you hear, if you're hearing it. How do I explain the moon? In a northern latitude, it's up and down, like on the outhouse door. At this latitude, it's cupped on the bottom. It's turned up like it would hold water. That's Mount Garcia over there. And look at the color of the sky. I'm sure it's not as dramatic as it is seeing it in person. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.